This is the case. Oh, of Taylor I saw this meme. Jackson, you all have been together seven years and married. She make the face. I never saw the source material for two years. Mr. Taylor, tell me why you brought your wife to court today. Well, I brought my wife to court because I believe that she is still cheating and this is to see if she's still lying to Wait, me. Wait, she was cheating? If she is, then this relationship gonna be over. The marriage, the family we had, the lifestyle we had, uh -huh. it's all gonna be over. And I don't know why that she jeopardized that knowing that we all we had. Ain't nobody else backing us. Don't nobody else support us. Don't nobody else help us with the kids. Don't nobody else help us with our living arrangements or nothing. This has become so stressful to you that you moved out two months ago? Yeah. Yes. I, c I couldn't deal with it no more. It was, it was, too, it was too many signs. I, I, I was catching her up in too many lies. I, I couldn't do it no more. Chet, see, I'm going to have to call him out right here. Why he's still with her if he already caught her cheating before and now y'all in the courtroom? Is this for him to get a divorce? Is that's why they in court? This the divorce set up right here? Because that's the only reason I can see them being in court right now. For him to get this lady out of his life. I don't care if y'all if y'all all, all each other got. She's stabbing you in front of your back. You got to get out of there. You don't even got to see if she cheating. If you already know that she cheating, if you even think that she cheating, you can't trust her. Get away from her. Y'all so, play so too I, much. So I left until we get the situation resolved. And if she is cheating, I'm gone. And, and, what, hurt, and what hurt me most every time I look at this picture right here is, is the fact is the fact that at this time in our, in our life, everything was good. At this time in our life... Why she look like a different... Why they both look like different people? Man, that was my best friend. That was my lover. That was my homie. That was that. That, that was that was my other half. That we was the game. Together, like, and, and, and I feel like that's jeopardized. And you are holding on to that picture, like it's your last hope. Yes, it's, it's, it's all I have to like remember. Like, it's a and, symbol and of when know life why was good to me, cause she know how 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 valuable family is to me. Like, I was adopted. I ain't had the chance to really experience a real good family life like most people. So she know that like, that's something that I really want to structure in my life. She know yeah. that's a goal that I have in my life is to, is to build and have a family. So your belief in that she's lying and that she's cheating has driven, literally driven you from your home with her. Gone. Yes. And if you she find know out what to you're done. Gone. I'm Reese, done. She I can't got do a wig on. Done this in the past. This is a re a P -N why did you donate that she got a wig on? What? The, what? Why would you donate? Re, she got a wig on. Shut up, bro. What did you tell me that for? I wasn't wondering that. He talking about Re, she got a Why did he donate that? Why did he donate that? What are you talking about? Nobody asked. What are you talking about? What does she having a wig on got to do with anything? What does that have to do with anything here? What are you talking about, man? But if she isn't cheating, you're going home. I'm going home, yeah. And you're going to rebuild taking this my family. my wife back, taking my kids back, and we're going to be a family. So everything. Oh <coughs> so what you're telling this court, what you're telling me and Mr. Cutler, man. is your whole world is on the line today. On the line. Everything I, that we built and had for like the last seven years, like yeah. everything that we have, like it, he can't even get the right. words so, out. Ms. Jackson, why are you in court today? I messed up my family with my actions because, as he stated, our family we don't have a lot of family support, and our family is like the only thing that we have, and we've been through a lot, and I don't want to let that go to waste. You want your family back? Yes, Your Honor. Do you love this man? Yes, Your Honor. And so you're here trying to recoup and bring that family back together. Your goal is when you walk out of here, you all are a couple going to rebuild your family. Yes, Your Honor. So that means here's what i don't like about this show we saw the last episode and now we're seeing this one i hate how these judges are literally repeating what the people just said to us your honor i'm up here to reestablish my family to bring our family back together i want my husband to come home so what you're saying is you want your husband back in your house you want him to come back home and reestablish the family yes your honor do you just said it
<laughs> we heard it before we heard it the first time. So that means you haven't been cheating then. That's the only way we're going to get back together. Oh, my goodness. So you are here to get back to the time in that picture. Okay. What we were those times like? It was it was stressful because huh? we were in a financial oh. deficit. But it's it's like I can look up to that. Like wow, we've been through this, and it made us so much stronger. Mm -hmm. If we could do that, we could do anything. Just being there to support each other when we had nobody else, and doing family outings, mm -hmm. and and when you <laughs> talk about the tough times. When you say that it makes you stronger, that spoke to me because we talk about well, there was we went to law school together and it was we were broke law students. Even before then, we met us we met as poor college students, and so but we were real broke yeah. law students. <laughs> and working through that, it does make a couple stronger because you figure yeah. if you can climb that mountain, and when you ain't got no money, that's a tough mountain. Yeah. When you can climb that mountain. This is beautiful. This is what something y'all should strive for. Somebody that will be with you while you're broke and help you build to something greater, Chad. We could all learn from this. This is what we all want. Y'all goofy you ass. Through. That's right. So you made it through the tough times. Why are you here today? What happened to break the trust? I was coming home from, from work and I walked in uh, in the house and the kids run up like, hey, dad, how you doing? I'm like, where mom at? Mom in the back with a guy. Huh? I said, the guy named Josh. And then here she come running like a bat out of hell out the bedroom. And she like, oh, hey, baby, how you doing? Um, it's just me and my friend. No, I ain't never met the dude. It's just me and my friend, uh, we just chilling. And, and this why, if I do got trust problems, it's because of your actions. Cause uh, where did y'all escape? I mean, where, how did y'all leave that house? I swear y'all ain't walk out the front door, they hop out the window. Cause they ain't want to walk past me. All right, Miss Jackson, what happened? They got Josh in the bedroom climbing out the window. Excuse, I gotta hear more of this. Your Honor, he fabricated that story. Josh. When he called me and told me that he was on his way home, I informed him that Josh was there. Nobody climbed out Nobody. of the So Josh is a friend right. of yours? Yes, Josh is a friend is of Is Josh mine. in court today? Do you have some kind of relationship with Josh other than being a friend? Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What you mean you got some type of relationship besides a friend? You got a, you're a married woman. How you got a friendship with another man? Last summer we got in a big old argument, cause she, uh, she was out all night, and she, she come home like eight in the morning, and then, so I grabbed the phone and I hurry up and go in the bathroom and lock the bathroom door, and she didn't know I had the password to her phone, so I put the password in, her, in the, into the phone. Boom, I, I, I see that somebody inboxed her from social media a, a, a video, a sex tape of her. <laughs> you saw your wife doing the nasty with someone else and you still here with her talking about you need to catch her cheating. I think you saw what she been out here doing. And I'm pretty sure this content right here is before the OnlyFans era. So what was she putting herself on camera for is another question. A sex tape of her? Yeah, that was a year ago. And even after seeing that, man, I still forgave her and try to do and, and still try to work it out. See, he goofy. It's Cause Reese, I see a video of my significant other on the phone. I don't need to see no more, bro. You never gonna see me again. That's the last thing I'ma see. I'm never seeing anything else. I'm blind to that person, huh? Who you? I can't see. I don't know who that person is anymore. How do you what know you what's her in the sex tape? She got her name on her booty. <laughs> what are you talking about? She got her name on her booty. <laughs> Who puts their own name on their butt? <laughs> she she gonna remind people what her name is. <laughs> Why is there a name on your butt? What are you talking about? She got her name on her booty. And, and still try to work it out. How do you know it was her in the sex <laughs> She got her name on her booty. You mean like a tattoo? Yeah. Who was in the sex tape with her? Was it this guy, Josh? Oh my. Yes, Your Honor. Huh? Miss Jack, look at Josh. Oh, I'm crying. I need to calm down. 
I need to calm down. Jackson, what happened with this sex tape? <sighs> yes, that was me in the sex tape. And yes, that was Josh in the sex tape. I felt like I was pushed to the point of him made Umar making me feel like I wasn't oh, worthy, making me feel like everything that I did was wrong. You know to you make lying. me feel like I was nothing. You know you and lying. to make me feel like everything that he was doing for the family was better than what I was doing. When I would break my back and try to go to work and try to come home and be with the kids, he would complain that back. I was he was doing everything for the kids, yeah, but yet he was not working or providing anything financially. I wasn't. I wasn't so I, 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 okay, I get hold on. Clothes, I ain't get all, all, all they to school, I ain't... Mr. Wait, Taylor, Mr. Mr. Taylor. Taylor. Okay. Wait, tell me, why do girls get mad at their significant other and the first thought in their head, I'm gonna go sleep with somebody else? Why is that the number one get back? I'm gonna get back at you. I'm gonna do the nasty with somebody. That don't make no sense. More than you, though. Mr. Mr. Taylor, Mr. Taylor. Watch your language, please. I did more from the kids than you, though. Yes, Sean, I, I'm just trying to tell you this real, boy. This is real. I know I'm you're trying upset. to tell you. I know you're passionate, but this courtroom has rules. Is that yeah, right? I forgave her. Yeah. You forgave her. Goofy. But that was in the past, and once you forgive someone for something in the past it's and move done. on, you move on, right? No. No. Sometimes, like, it'd be situations that she, like, like a man that texts her phone, but he'll text her, like, illicit stuff. So I, I, I bring up her character, like, you can't be doing that due to your history. Um, Ms. Jack. I think the history got nothing to do with it. People shouldn't be texting a married woman phone X-rated texts anyway. Yes, Your Honor. What did you do to change? Nothing. Yes, I was, I, was, I was planning on, you know what I'm saying, trying my hardest and putting my 100% effort into repairing things. But there were things that he did that I did not find out about until we were married. When I was down, I was, there was a point, which was the beginning of the relationship, where I was down. I was all for him. I was doing any and everything to be with him. Okay. Even stupid, ignorant things, such as fighting women over him. And getting and pregnant with other following, people, babies. You know what I'm saying? Stalking process. him. Okay. And so what Jackson, was I supposed to thought that you was for me if you get pregnant with other like people, Miss Jackson. Okay. Mr. Taylor. During the time? Mr. Taylor. During that, 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 that time, too. You, you be warned no him before. before. Mr. Taylor. You said it won't happen again. Do not you let me throw you out of here. Yes, but I will do it. I love your passion, and I understand, and I understand you're fighting for your family. But we have got to do this in an orderly process. Yes, ma'am. So if you're not going to let us do that, we're going to have to put you out. I'm going to let y'all, your honor, I'm sorry. All right. So, Ms. Jackson, your husband takes you back. Yes. You've had a sex tape. <laughs> yes. The man from the sex tape you have in your house, again. Yes. How in the world are you trying to do better by doing that? How do she still want me to trust her? Quiet. Your integrity should have told you, this man don't need to be in my house. I've slept with him outside my marriage. Look at Josh. I can't trust him either. So, Mr. Taylor, you're now concerned that this guy named Josh may be popping up again. Yes. He already did. Well, there's... The wife story, there's the husband story, and then there's the lover story. Let's hear Josh. And we have the lover here. Come Let's on, Josh. Oh. oh, you love it here. <laughs> why her face like, no, bro, she guilty. That's why that meme exists. Love it here. The meme is written all over her face. Look at this. She knows she's still touching that man. No way. I'm the husband, though. Josh is here. Would you please escort him in? Yes, Sean. No way she looking like that. She looked like she's still oh, touching him. Look at Josh. All right. I look like choosing you if you choosing him. Would you state your name, please, for the court? Josh Charles. Okay. Uh, Mr. Charles, we've heard evidence from Ms. Jackson and from Mr. Taylor. Look at her! A sex tape involving Ms. Jackson. Were you the man in that sex tape? Yes, I was the man in that sex tape. Look at him! This man think he doing something. Yeah, that was me. I was out there. You nasty ass Josh. 
And why is he looking hey. at the, the husband like, bro, you got to fight him for being disrespectful. I don't fight guys over girls because it's her fault. But look at how he carrying himself like he got the upper hand. Man, she a little freaky hoe. Why you mad at me? You already touching her. How you mad at me that you touching my girl? How you giving me a dirty look? Why you looking at me like that? Who he, who he think he is? LeBron? Why you looking like that? Yeah. You like my sloppy seconds? Oh my goodness. That's your wife, buddy. I'm hey, I'm fine. Fine. Look at this, man. Be respectful of your wife. You nasty. That's me, right? That's, that's me, right there, though. Hey, no, right there. hey, you got. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. She ain't got nothing to say. One more. <laughs> Now you said you're here to get the truth. Oh, I am. Whether God. you gotta be quiet to get the truth. All right. Let us do our job. I'm happy he's seen it though, because now he can move on now with his life and leave her alone. Mr. Yeah. Charles, respond to my questions, please. Yes, sir. Respond to Miss Cutler's questions. Yes, ma'am. That's it. What is the nature of your relationship with Miss Jackson? Oh, that's my girlfriend right there. That's right there. What? Look at her face. She can't believe he just said that. He been up in that thing. What was he to you? Just a random, a random occasion? Because you had him back over the house even after you were married. So obviously he got some prior history with you. Maybe he not crazy for thinking he got a girlfriend in you. He's seen you multiple times. He out here making videos with you. You don't just make videos with anybody. And now she trying to act surprised. That's me. That's your girlfriend. Yeah, what? he's been going since June 14th. That's me right there. Yeah. What? Does Miss Jackson know she's your girlfriend? Or is that your fantasy? Y'all even taking pictures of me that she's your girlfriend. I mean, she's mine mentally, physically. And emotionally. I don't know if I'm feeding her body, I'm feeding her mind, I'm feeding her soul, I'm feeding everything. You've been going since June 14th, buddy. Mm -hmm. You messed up. It's on you. You messed up. Ain't no coming back. No Mr. Charles. I'm a man. Mr. Mr. Charles. Charles. Right there. Ah. That's mine. Yeah. That is Charles. it. You talk to the judges, the judges, period. You do not talk to anybody else in the courtroom except the judges. Understood? I will take you out. No problem. Anywhere the judges only. Man. Same with you. Shut the mouths. Who this bald headed officer? You talk to the judges and the judges only. Shut your mouth. Yo, this a messed up situation. Mr. Charles, when was the last time that you were intimate with Ms. Jackson? Be honest. This morning. No way, bruh. Look at this lady. Oh, oh my God. Now it makes sense why Josh walking around like he King Tut. He think he all that because she letting him. She gassing his head up. Letting him do whatever he want to her. And you supposed to be a married woman. Got your husband looking stupid. The father of your kids looking stupid. Now you're on TV. You ain't even need to let him take you to TV. You could have told him that you was... This don't make no sense, bro. Why are y'all here? You knew what you was doing with that man before you pulled up to the building. You put on your good wig, your good shirt. They'll be out here looking stupid. Now I know about you, Miss Lady. You was, Nobody should have knew about this. This should have been y'all little secret triangle. Y'all could have been running a triangle offense, but now whole America know about this. You a meme on the internet forever because you want to be a clown. Look at the lady. Now she want to be up here looking stupid. Look at her. Miss Jackson. Miss <laughs> Jackson, were you intimate with Mr. Charles this morning? See our, see our reaction. Quiet. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Miss Jackson, you said you were here fighting for this relationship. Do you see the inconsistency with that statement and sleeping with this man this morning before you show up in my court saying, I want to be with this man and build my family? Do you see that inconsistency? Yes, Your Honor, I see the inconsistency. All right. But it's like he, he was I mean, also he doing whatever he was doing. Herself. You know what? But we're not even here talking about that. All right. Because nobody has sat up here and testified they slept with him this morning. It's deceitful, too, you know. Misintentions, you know. Okay, so, right. Mr. Taylor, you have the truth. You came here looking for answers, and you got answers. Mm -hmm. It may or may not have been the answers you wanted, so, but you got the answers. You got the so truth. So what you gonna do now, Mr. Taylor? What do you want to do with your relationship with Ms. Jackson? 
What you going to do now, buddy? Huh? You saw her on the phone doing what a guy. You, who knows what he saw them doing on the phone? Now you saw him leaving out your house one day. Now you hear it live and direct in the courtroom. She was with him this morning. Where was you at? You probably was stuck with the kids. She left you at home with the kids while she gallivanting around with Josh over here. And life goes on. You chose, you made your decision. I can't keep on trying to rescue you for your own decisions. You gotta live with them. So you all have been together for seven years. Seven years. Not really, because Josh. You're willing was to in throw it. seven years away. I guess so. Throw it away? It's over. What are you talking about? Throw she it made away. That decision this morning. Ms. Jackson, is there anything you need to say to your husband? Honestly, I feel like he just brought me here to embarrass me, Your Honor. I, that's what I feel because his word was that if we, if I came here, we would be back together. This lady is delusional. When people say girls don't have any accountability, she's not being accountable for her early morning actions. She's keep trying to deflect. Oh, but he was, but, but he was, but him. No, what are you doing? Looking like a Nita Faker up here. Looking like a dirty ass. I don't even know what. <laughs> I don't know what this is, bro. I, if, yeah. if, once he once he heard the truth and I came here that we would be back together, not he would make his decision based on how today went. But Miss Jackson, that's not what he said. You can't you can't even believe that he was saying if you came here today and I found out you slept with someone this morning, everything would be okay. There's no way you could have believed that. I don't know what, do what this, planet bro. you're working from, but it's not Earth. It that is, is Earth. Not how, Earth. That is not how Earth. adult is. people process. Hey. Look it up. Oh, you got it too, then. Ain't that your wife? Okay. You got it too, then, right? Mr. Oh, okay. Charles. I ain't got it. Get me out of here. Okay. Come see me. Mr. Charles. Come see me. I don't want to see Mr. why. Mr. Charles. I, her. I understand, brother. I understand you're pissed, and I, I would be oh, too. No. But that clown ain't worth it. You <laughs> but that clown ain't worth it. I'm getting in trouble. Oh, yeah. You, you right. understand? I am a real police I know. I know. I know. I see Let's the guy. Let's have it. Are you right? Miss Jackson, you've got some big decisions ahead of you. Not just about this relationship. You got but, some life decisions ahead of you. And whether you're married to him or not, y'all are together forever. Divorce. No, they not. kids are, are forever buying Divorce. Divorce. And I'm pretty sure he could get custody because she the one that stepped out the marriage. We got it on live TV. Situation. It's not working. You see the tension between them. Make her so pay alimony. Got... Make her and Josh pay alimony. Or do you want Mr. Charles? And that's the decision only you can make. But you got to make that decision because from what I'm seeing from up here, you can't have both. Talk to our counselors, as Ms. Cutler ordered, and don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a decent relationship as you move forward with your life and out of your co-parenting opportunities. Court is adjourned. Bro, money got to fight Josh. That's number one. He got to fight Josh because Josh in my house with my kids in the other room touching this little stank woman and then got the audacity to, to talk trash to my face like he doing something. You you doing this all behind my back, you sneaky bitch. You think you all that. You just a sneaky motherfucker. You can keep her little sneaky ass. Both of y'all goofy as fuck. I don't need neither one of y'all in my life. We got to get out of here.